guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, it's going to be a little bit more relaxed and I'm actually just going to be telling you guys how I prep my videos in case you guys need some help prepping your own videos. Also, before I get started, please subscribe down below if you have not subscribed yet. And also, don't mind Cooper because he's taking a nap. It's like a fifth nap today. So yeah. <laughs> so if I was going to do this video more official, I would show you guys and bring you along with prepping my videos, but I want to do a full video on behind the scenes of how I actually film. So I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm just going to tell you guys and paint a picture of what I usually do. When I'm first starting to prep my videos, I actually do a lot of that brainstorming at night. And I like to have this notepad right next to my bed just in case I can think of anything and I like to write it down so I'm not like overwhelmed in thought throughout the night. But yeah, I just like write anything and everything that comes to mind. It doesn't even have to just be about YouTube videos. It can just be about Instagram posts, anything really honestly. If you don't already, I would definitely get a notepad to put right next to your bed just because I feel like it's so nice to write down all those thoughts that are going through your head throughout the night. Because I feel like that's when you start to overthink and you overanalyze everything and then you can't fall asleep. So ever since I started writing down all my thoughts, I feel like I am able to sleep better and then also I have more energy to film. So <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. Sleep is kind of the most important part about being a YouTuber or doing really anything in life. So then once I wake up in the morning, I obviously like take this piece of paper and rip it off and then I will bring it and put it into my Be Bold journal. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree and I just keep all of my YouTube video ideas in here. I feel like it's so nice to have just like all your videos planned out and everything or just like the titles of videos. I highlight them once I already filmed them and it just keeps me very organized because then I can just look flip through this book and find ideas that I have for my next video. I know this might seem excessive to go from a notepad to a notebook and then put it into another notebook, but it really keeps my mind engaged and it also helps me get more ideas for that video. So I have this notebook and I write down the video idea and then I write the key points that I need to talk about in that video. I never write a script, like this is not a script in any way, shape, or form, it's just the key points because if I don't do it that way, then I'm going to overthink everything and also go off topic more in the videos. So just for one idea, I have my how to be comfortable on camera idea. I will have a card up here to that video, but it's just all of the key points that I wanted to talk about. So I will highlight it after it's done. And then on the back of them, I always write the title that I pick and also some tags. This one doesn't have any tags on it because I just kind of did that on YouTube. So once I have all the key points written out, I sit down to film. That's obviously the step that I'm in right now. I'm actually gonna be uploading a video on Friday of all of my filming gear. So I would definitely recommend you guys subscribe down below so you can see all of that. But I set up my lights and I set up my camera and I sit down to film and I try to keep the background clean. If you can't keep it clean, then don't film in that spot because I feel like it's a lot easier to see like a bare canvas or something that isn't very cluttered in a behind a video just so that way your viewers aren't distracted by it. Obviously in a perfect world I wouldn't have Cooper behind me but he's too cozy back there for me to mess him up. But on that side and on this table that you guys are sitting on, it's a whole different story. I take all of like the junk and everything and put it onto here and whatnot. So then once I'm done filming, I do a rough edit. I use Shotcut to edit my videos. And when I say a rough edit, I cut out any point where I'm not talking or I'm rambling or when I have to repeat myself because of outdoor noises. Yeah, I do a rough edit because there's a ton of times where I repeat and restart anything that I'm saying. Just with this point, I've started it over four times. So I'm gonna have to edit all of those points out because obviously I don't wanna re-say the same exact thing four times. Also with my rough edits, my videos are usually 45 minutes when I film them. And then I add them down to seven minutes or like seven to 10 minutes. So there's definitely a ton of times where I just like mess up on my words and I have to re-say them. So when you guys are filming, please do not be too hard on yourself because it's a process like sometimes you just trip up on words and you just can't say specific words so don't be too hard on yourself you can always edit those parts out so the next step of my list is to 
do the rough edit, watch it back, and then see if there's any clips that I'd like to add throughout that video. Obviously, you're not going to be perfect 100% of the time and write down every single key point, or even you might just get to editing and think of a great point that you wanna add in. So I always have my first list. If I was any more crazy, I'd have a third or fourth notebook that I could write down all of these little key points, but I just rip off the pages, so there's no point of getting another one. But I will write down any shots that I'd like to get just because obviously I'm not perfect, none of us are perfect, and sometimes you miss, you completely miss one part that is very crucial in your video. So once I have all of the clips filmed, I will go in and do all of my final edits that includes effects and a little sound effects and all the nitty gritty things that make my videos more enjoyable to watch. One thing that I always do is that I use Canva. I actually bought the premium membership and I will write out like the little key points just to put on top of my screen. I will put one right here that says like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and I always do the same exact little pink back brown just because I want all of my videos to seem cohesive and that they'll go together. So then once I have all of the edits done, I will watch my video all the way through. Sometimes Shotcut makes my videos a little bit glitchy while I'm editing them, but normally those just render out and they're normally flowing very nicely. But I watch it again just to make sure that there's no awkward points where I'm stumbling on my words or anything like that. So my next step is to actually export onto my computer. I feel like a lot of people just export onto YouTube, but anytime I've ever done that before, my videos have become very splotchy for some reason or they don't have all of the parts that I edited out, edited it out, which is very weird. So I always export to my computer and if you guys are having any issues with that happening to you, if you're just exporting to YouTube and your videos are all weird or even if they take so long, definitely do it the other way because I feel like it's always, always, always shorter. So then I upload my videos and I always schedule them for the next day or whenever, like my videos go up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I usually edit them and do everything to them the night before. So then I use TubeBuddy and find different tags and also a title that usually comes after editing and not before I export. But if I don't do it then, then I do it now just because it's a lot easier. So then I finalize my title, I finalize all my tags. So my next step is to edit my thumbnail and I always edit this in Canva. Again, I use the premium version of Canva and I edit my thumbnails very cohesively. So I use the exact same template every time. Just because I want people to look at my channel and know that this is my channel and that all of those things are cohesively in line. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of my thumbnails thumbnails the exact same once this series is over just because I feel like that would be harder to find like I'm gonna put all of these videos into a playlist so that way if anybody wants to start a YouTube channel they can go and see all of my tips that I have for them but yeah that's all I do to prep my videos there is a little bit of background of what I do to promote my videos I always put it on Facebook and on my Instagram stories right when it's uploaded but yeah that's my entire video for today I hope you guys really enjoyed this video again if you guys have not subscribed please go down below and hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you get notifications anytime I post but yeah I will see you guys on Friday for our next video bye guys mm -hmm.